This game isn't even out yet, but for quite some time now, you can already listen to mixes and tracks of the music used in the game, like from the trailers or in demos that have been shown, or other music that has inspired the music choice here. You may notice, it all has a similar vibe. There's a sonic aesthetic that's being done here on purpose. The marching drum beat with that big snare, those distorted bass lines. It's come to the point where if a song meets that criteria, it might already get called sounding cyberpunk, despite if that was the intention or not. To some of the genre knowers amongst you, you could classify this as mid-tempo. Some of the mixes even include artists like Rez or Blank who are usually grouped into that genre. I even have a tutorial on Kid, a notable mid-tempo producer, which I made back in 2017. Oh my god, what have I been doing all this time? Okay, so mid-tempo, but also not. That cyberpunk sound I hear also has a bit of Gasofelstein. Also 80s synthwave influences in there. Anyways, genres, who needs them? A lot of these tracks are from 90 to 110 BPM. It's still that standard form floor beat that you might hear in house, you know, with the snare or clap on the two and four, kick every four beats, but slower. Often that snare is going to be a big 80s type snare with the long tail. So you could have a bit of reverb on there or just look for snares that are just naturally kind of long lasting. I, I tend to be careful with reverb because you can easily wash out a sound and make it sound just too distant. The drop or chorus will start with those two elements. Then precisely after eight bars, Add some hi-hats. And when I say precisely after eight bars, I mean it. See, I told you. Distortion. And also kind of acid. What do I mean? Take this nice, innocent pluck. Just a sawtooth with a low pass filter. Kind of groovy. Then we take this thing that's supposed to be like a guitar distortion pedal and BAM! There's still more you can tweak with this. The type of distortion or how you EQ it before said distortion and messing around with the waves changes a lot. I found if you add a triangle wave along with the sawtooth and play around with the phases, that has a big impact to the end result. When making the bass line, I'm not thinking of any key to stay in. I'm just putting down some notes I think sound dark and edgy together. I know when the notes are next to each other, like a minor second, those are usually pretty dark sounding. And that makes me happy. That acid sound. Originally came from the Roland TB303. It was supposed to simulate a bass guitar. But listen to that. Is it crack they were smoking? It's a very iconic sound, however, with its repetitive rhythm and odd note choices. FL Studio actually has a Theo 3 synth, which is pretty cool. 
There's probably other 303 type synths out there, but we'll try making one from scratch. So put one note down for let's say the length of a bar. You can either use a saw or square, but the first key part is getting the filter rhythm right. Add a low pass filter and put either a serum LFO or a massive performer on it. Make sure it's synced to the tempo and make a variating triangle pattern like this. So some are a little bit bigger than others and some are smaller. You could try making different curves if you're feeling brave. Massive lets you make these interesting loops so you can get a cool pattern. You can't do that specifically in Serum, but if you're on envelope mode, you can create start and loop points, so that's kind of similar. Also hold Alt to snap to the grid, that makes life easier. I like putting this pattern on the volume as well, not just the filter. It makes the overall sound cleaner for when we add distortion later. Another key thing is resonance. That's what gives it its iconic sound, especially when you start automating that along with the filter cutoff. And last thing I would suggest is coming up with a pattern for the pitch. In Serum, I'll add an LFO to the semitones and then hold down shift to create these flat lines that snap to the grid. This works, but the grid is actually eight steps, so you end up only getting eight different notes to use. So you could try changing the grid to 12, but then the timing's kind of strange. This isn't a perfect solution, but I just tend to keep it to eight notes. You could always turn on mono, legato, and then just draw the notes in instead too. In Massive, all you need to do is just turn on snap to grid here, and it will just do all the 12 notes, so that's nice. Then you can tweak and fine tune things how you like, changing the waves, different filters and effects. As we're going for a gritty sound, distortion is going to play a big role. And then just tweaking and fine tuning how you like, changing the waves or different filters and effects. I like adding slight bits of delay too, gives it just a bit more space, especially when you open up the filter. So distortion and resonance definitely seem to be two key features of the bass sound design here. There's still a lot of variety in the sounds, but a lot of them come down to this. Also, I tend to use a lot of guitar emulating amps. Like yeah, you do have the more synth wavier style of tracks that have some leads or chords, mostly reverby sawtooth sounds. It's good for the build-ups, but the other tracks are more focused on the bass and drums. That's really what the tracks revolve around here. But it would be boring if it was only that. So a little bursts of sounds are used here and there. <laughs> Vocal snippets. <laughs> like that.
thank you to my Patreon supporters who still support me even if I go missing off the grid for like a month or so. So thank you very much for still sticking around, everybody. That is extremely nice of you. In fact, you know what? As a thanks, I'll put the project file of the song on here as well. So my patrons can all just have that. I teach lessons as well. That's that's a thing that I do. If you want to learn how to make this sound in particular, then that's that could be you. That could be you making that sound. Lots of other stuff in the works. Who knows when it'll be out, but I'm not doing nothing. I'm doing stuff. Hopefully it will be done soon, and then you'll see. You'll all see. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you gamers stay safe out there. And Keanu Reeves, big chungus moment.